state and county officials continue to keep an eye on Hurricane Calvin that is currently far from the islands and forecast to greatly weaken as it approaches the state. Still, agencies are prepping ahead of time and say we should all do the same. Nikki Schenfeld has more. County and state officials are prepping for Calvin. On Oahu, city crews removed large tree branches and debris blocking a storm drain in Waimanalo and also used equipment at a stream in Waianae. Forecasters say swells generated by Calvin have the potential to bring life-threatening surf and rip currents with potentially 15-foot bases on certain east-facing shores. We start working with the Coast Guard, ensuring that we can keep those uh, port uh, flowways through um, clear to make sure that we don't upset anything on delivery of our cargo in those different areas. Biggest thing is to make sure that there's no damage to the, to the ports in those areas so we don't upset that cargo coming in. On the airport side, we make sure we work with all of our tenants, um, especially in airports that are most vulnerable uh, to weather. Big rains, look at Hilo, I mean, and at Kono. Hawaii Island will see impacts first. Emergency officials met on Friday. Start preparing for, you know, um, Calvin should Calvin come. Uh, we always prepare for the worst um, and hope for the best. Uh, so it's getting everybody ready, start discussing everybody's roles. The American Red Cross says they're making sure they have enough volunteers. And so already uh, we are calling, we're not mobilizing, but we're just seeing which of our volunteers is here in Hawaii. At this time, we're asking people to start preparing. Um, well, it doesn't look like it'll be a full hurricane. We do expect to have something and uh, it's best to be prepared rather than get caught without uh, preparations. The state says they're clearing storm drains in flood prone areas like H1 and will cover up construction areas as Calvin approaches. Sniffin says crews will be ready to shut down roads if needed and landslide prone areas like Kuhio Highway and the Pali should be able to handle the rain. All the areas that we took emergency action on are all comfortably cleared. We made sure that everything's more resilient from the time that we had that emergency in the past to where we are now. And it was tested over the last several years uh, during heavy storms. Nikki Schoenfeld, KJO2 News, working for Hawaii.